Hello. So today we are going to be using a printer with two extruders to turn this single colored print that you would have to paint to get the colors to show on it to a dual extrusion print with both a color for the arrow and a color for the block. To talk a little bit more about the file we'll be using today, this is one of the Bliss tactile symbols. Uh, these symbols help individuals that may have blind or visually impaired disabilities express themselves, partially based on Project Core, but having history dating back to 1947. So let's get into Kira and start this project. And before we get into Kira, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks. All right, so now here we are in Kira. We need to open the files that we want to print. Uh, we have a base file and the arrow file that we're going to be using for the dual extrusion. So let's open those. With the two files loaded in, let's take a better look at these. We'll notice that they're both the same color. And if we want to use dual extrusion, we definitely need to make sure the other nozzle is on. So up here at the top, we need to go to the second extruder, click enable on that, and you'll see that both of them are yellow because they're both using the same material. So let's change this material to a different color PLA, so Unimaker, PLA, and I like black for this, this example. You're going to see a lot of, you're potentially going to see a lot of discard keep changes. Uh, let's keep changes for now. Um, and now we have selected the second extruder to be black, so we need to make sure that our base is one extruder. So the base over here is showing that it's the first extruder, and our arrow is going to be our second extruder. So let's go over here and let's click it to be the second extruder. Now if we click off of them, we'll notice that the base is extruder 1 and the arrow is extruder 2. Now in order for us to print these, we need to get them in line with each other. But if we look at this arrow, it looks like it's a bit bigger than I would uh, would want. So we need to change the scale on this. Uh, so first, let's go over to scale, which is S as the hotkey, or you can click over in the drop down over here. Make sure uniform scaling is off, and I'm going to change the Z to about two millimeters height. Yeah, so that looks about that looks about right. So to move this arrow to the right, I'm going to grab the blue rotational arrows here and move it 90 degrees in that direction. And now we just need to move it in position. So you can come over here and click this or click T for the, the hotkeys. I know that this block is 10 millimeters up, but look, we have drop down model so that we need to make sure this is clicked off so that it's not stuck to the build plate. And we can move this arrow safely up to 10. Now I'm not quite sure where this is going to be positioned, so I'm going to zero out the X and the Y. It looks like it's a little bit too far up, so let's move that something like 5. Yeah, that looks about right. Now I think we're pretty close to being ready. Um, so if we were to slice this right now and go over to the preview, we can see how it did. Now if we look, it definitely printed something, but I want to know which colors are what. So let's go up here to color scheme and change it from line type over to material color. And now if we look at this, I can tell that the base is yellow, so the first extruder, and the arrow is black, so the second extruder, that's good. And you can see there's a brim of the two colors as they're, they're out there. So if you wanted to push this to your printer in the G-code, that would work now. However, if you want to ensure that this print works and there's no stringing or extra issues that could, could occur, we need to go over here into the print settings and find dual extrusion. It's going to be scrolling down here at the bottom. And you have two methods. You have the prime tower and the ooze shield. I would recommend using the prime tower. So let's click on that. And what this is going to do, we need to re-slice this. What this is going to do for us is it's going to make a little tower over here with the colors so that every time that it needs to use said color in the object you're trying to dual color, it will make sure that it has a clean nozzle to make it. So you won't have any like oozing or fragmenting or bleeding of colors between the two objects. And to just show you what that kind of looks like, if I were to scroll down here into the object itself going down to layers, you can see that as it's building, so to the left here and left here, you see they're all yellow because yellow is the only one being used. But once we get over to the first layers of the arrow, you'll find that it is going to transition with the first black layer and that's all it needed. It needed to layer that one level of black and then it was done. Um, and the tower is no longer needed because we're only using one last extruder for the final arrow to print out. Now this is one of many methods you can use to get dual extrusion, but for Kira, this is likely the best way. If you're interested in other methods, please check out other videos that I have listed in the description. 
Uh, they can help you with using things like Prusa Slicer and things of that matter. But until then, thank you for watching. Bye.